school to work tomorrow, right? Yes. But that cannot become an excuse for missing kind of the intention and the direction of the technique. So please watch. I, I know I keep harping on this breaking the balance. Let's try to communicate this idea in a different way. So we're here. Everyone see him? It's not this, guys. It's certainly not lay the limbs on you. I want you to think about your inner forearm doing a strike on the way in. So I don't want you to jam your partner up, but when you're here, boom! You're, you're coming through and then grabbing. Even the one on the hip, okay, or the lower back, can, you're not, it's not a strike in the sense of like a knee or an elbow to the head. But there's direction. And the end place of this hand is not his body. It's like I'm pushing the old-fashioned typewriter that way. And in this one, the intention is not to see his neck. It's to touch Jonathan over there. Everyone see that? Yes. And I'd rather overshoot it and then adjust than undershoot it. Make sense? Yes. Some of you look like you're just kind of either like getting to the point and then trying to break your partner's balance. Or alternatively, you're just kind of hugging from where you are. He's a big guy. If he sets his weight right now and he sinks his weight, right? I think he can hold me up there. I haven't broke his balance. He's stable. So with this arm, think when you're here as if you're trying to, maybe you're going to throw this person. Okay? Does that, does that make sense? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, so really, really, don't, again, don't, you don't need to injure your partner's neck, but come in and make sure that that really does get the job done, and then apply your technique. Uh -huh. Focus on that piece a little bit more than the actual choke right now. Much better.